video is going to be pretty short because I've just had a lazy day. I had waffles for breakfast this morning and did pretty much nothing else other than get ready. So I thought, why not show you my outfit and celebrate New Year's with you that way. So I'm just about to go out and I'm wearing a dress that I purchased right when I started YouTube a year ago and I haven't worn it yet. It's by David Meester. I purchased it on sale from Nordstrom's in Honolulu and I'm absolutely in love with this dress and I'm so excited to wear it. Um, it's green so it was originally purchased with Christmas in mind. But then I realized that I never dress up like this for Christmas but I do for New Year's so I'm you know, wearing something colorful and a little bit different for New Year's and I encourage you to sort of pick a pop of color sometimes too because I find that really fun for when I go out so that I look a little bit different from everyone else in the room. So one shouldered satin sheath um, like I told you from David Meester and my favorite part of it is at the waistline where there's this incredible detailing it's just so beautifully jeweled with some light blue and dark green and just various sizes of jewels that really really stand out and they're essentially the jewelry for the outfit. I am wearing some smaller dangly earrings with emeralds that my mom got for me. Um, she ordered them from India, India a few years ago and I love these but I tried to pick something a little bit more understated jewelry wise because the jewelry is essentially in the dress and I don't like wearing a necklace, necklace with um, uh, one shoulder dress so I didn't. So my hair which you saw a shot of at the beginning has been done professionally. I did not do it myself otherwise I certainly would have shared the trick with you because it's a sort of professional only hairstyle. It's a French twist. Um, I'll insert the photo here. Of the style I requested. Um, it's worn by Drew Barrymore and I loved the sort of voluminous look to it. It's a little bit of an undone French twist um, and I asked for it to be a little bit smoother than the way she wore it and I think she did an amazing job. I went to Axis in Vancouver which is a salon that I usually get my hair cut at anyway and um, got my bangs trimmed as well so they're a little bit shorter. She did that for me sort of in the process so I'm really glad that I went and got my hair done. It's sort of a fun way to rain the new year because I normally never ever wear my hair up. I mean think about it guys, if you watch a lot of my videos, how many of them do I have my hair up in? Like none. Um, other than when I was in Hong Kong pretty much. So if we sort of pan down, you can see I'm holding a clutch and I'm about to show you what's in there. And then I have some beautiful shoes on that I absolutely adore. These were a bargain from a UK department store. I think they were from Debenhams. Um, the brand is called Birdie and they just have this beautiful jewel paisley print on them and they're you know a mix of green so there's some forest green and some jade green in there as well and I just love them. Um, green shoes you would think you wouldn't get a lot of wear of, out of but um, somehow with little black dresses or gold dresses. Over the years I've actually worn them quite a few times and they've sort of lived on. Um, so I'm wearing them again tonight. I'll show you what's in my clutch. I thought I would share with you a New Year's tradition that my mom and I have pretty much always done since ever I can remember. Um, these are green grapes, but any grapes will do. Um, it's an Italian tradition, I believe. My grandma used to do it. Um, to eat gra grapes, um, you know, up to and around New Year's or just after for good fortune. Um, it's just sort of like a good luck thing. Lots of people have various different superstitions about New Year's, like making resolutions and so forth. I don't really have any specific New Year's resolutions this way. I know it's been a trend on YouTube. I just want to start off my new rotation in business at my firm on, you know, good foot and just kind of make a positive impression. That will be a big change going on in my life over the next few months because I was in litigation before. So I'm excited about that and that is my big hope. Um, and otherwise, yeah, you know, the usual eat healthy, exercise, all that good stuff, which, you know, nobody actually keeps to. Um, so let me show you what is in my handbag. It is not very organized. This is not meant to be, you know, what you should include in your handbag video. It is just what I have stuffed in here today. Um, so I have a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is in the color light medium. I really like this. Um, it's a good touch up powder because it's not cakey. It's quite light. I have a Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. This is my second favorite concealer. My favorite is the Kalita Po one, which I wear every morning. I'm trying to save that one because it's so crazy expensive. This is actually fairly similar. It's a little bit drier in consistency, so to top up my makeup, if I have a zit or something like that that I want to 
you know, kind of freshen the cover up on throughout the night. A drier concealer is actually pretty great. So my color in this is light 002 and I always have this in my bag at the office and so forth. So I just kind of transferred it into here. I also have some blotting sheets to take off any shine. These are the clear and clear ones, which are my favorite. Um, if you ever worn braces and you may have seen these before, these are by gum, they're little picks, um, because I cannot actually floss my teeth with the types of lingual braces that I have, and these are literally, like, lifesavers for me. They save my life every day, and I haven't gotten any cavities, partly I would say thanks to these. I probably will keep using them even when I get my braces off, um, just because they work so great and they're so fast, so if you have food stuck in your teeth at, like, an event, quickly dart into the bathroom and just kind of poke this between your teeth and it just kind of picks everything out really fast. Um, much faster than dental floss would. So I have a little pocket at, like inside my bag and in there I just have some ID and a credit card and a little money. And um, then I have this little tiny pack of Kleenex from Hong Kong. It has like two left in it and a hamster on the front. Um, and it's, you know, conveniently because it's almost empty purse sized. Um, this bag actually has a strap which is really nice, I'm keeping it inside right now, but if you're looking into investing in an evening bag, I highly recommend one that has a strap. It's just a lot more practical and as the evening goes on, even if you feel like not having a strap and looking more formal at the beginning, it's nice to have it just in case, like let's say you're dancing later, or going somewhere, it's just really, really practical. So, I have a lip gloss, this one is by Chanel, it's so number 67. Um, I think these are the Aqualumiere glosses, but I'm not actually sure. I think they're discontinued. It's a really, really pretty peach color. I like the combination of peach and green together. I wouldn't wear a bright lip with this crazy bright dress, um, but this is a little bit more flattering than a total nude on me, so that's what I've chosen. And then I have my iPhone, which is ginormous to me and takes up most of the room in my bag. I have a Hello Kitty case on there which I purchased when I was in Hong Kong. Um, so that's a little bit annoying like the fact that it takes up like 60% of my bag in terms of real estate but you know whatever. It's a ne necessity isn't it? Um, especially on New Year's. You want to be able to text people to say Happy New Year, right? And then the very last thing I have, which I've fallen in love with and is only available in the States, so I recently bought some more of them when I was in Vegas. These are Roto Ice Eye Drops, and they're anti-redness and anti-itch. And I use these at the office fairly often because I get crazy red eyes from looking at the screen too often, which is why I tend to wear glasses sometimes as well. Um, but of course I'm not going to be wearing glasses tonight because it's New Year's. So I thought I would take these with just in case the red eye strikes. Um, because my eyes can sometimes be a little bit irritable and I really like those. They really work. Like within a second after putting them in your eyes. Like even if they're like crazy monster red, they'll be normal again very, very fast. So that's a lifesaver for me. And that is everything that is in my clutch. So just sort of a random thing to share with you on New Year's. I hope you guys have had or have a wonderful evening depending on when you see this video and I hope that 2013 is a very positive year for you. Happy New Year from me and my family and I will see you in my next video. Bye!